Hello, welcome back to our coverage here of the PokerStars Championship in Prague. I am joined by Ryan Reese. You were playing the main event, but unfortunately it is not to be anymore. Yeah, I just busted. Unfortunately, it's a great tournament. Um, so I guess I'll have to wait till next year. But he is smiling because you had a great day yesterday. You managed to take down 330,000. Yes, yeah, I chopped the 25k turbo yesterday with uh, two of my friends, so that, that was fun. It was a good tournament. Talk us through a turbo because a lot of people say, oh, you know, it's all about winning those coin flips at the crucial moments. Is there, what other strategy is there to winning one of these events? Yeah, there's there's a lot of coin flips. Um, everyone's shallow, so you're kind of forced to take some flip spots. Um, luckily, yesterday I won almost all of them that I was a part of. I think I lost one big one, and other than that, I won all the other ones. So, it makes a lot easier when you win coin flips. But um, they're fun. Um, you get a lot. It's nice to on an off day of the main event to have a big turbo. A lot of the all the high roller players show up. You can win a lot of money in one day. So I'm a fan. I'll be playing the one tomorrow, too. <laughs> okay. And um, we saw you in Rosmodoff just uh, a few, it was about three weeks, four weeks ago. You went to Vegas after then. What was going on there? Um, Five Diamond was in Vegas, and I live in Vegas. Mm -hmm. So um, I actually think I did Punta Cana in between. Oh, I wow. think that was in between. Yeah, I've been traveling a lot. I'm, I'm kind of tired. But... Um, yeah, it's been it's been fun. It's been how how do you cure the jet lag? Because I just came from Vegas too, and sometimes it's so hard to get in the swing of things. Yeah, um, this this time it actually hasn't been that bad. I slept a lot on the plane, and then I got here at like I think I got in at like 11 p.m. and I was already kind of tired, so it was easy to go to bed, and I kind of was on a good schedule. But sometimes coming to Europe from the United States, the jet lag's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was lucky this time. And you are, well, we saw on your Twitter, not a fan of the Bellagio. What's that all about? Um, oh, that tournament. There, the, uh, there's just not enough space in the Bellagio poker room. So, like, people were registering and having to wait four or five hours to get their seat. Like, even on day two, I think people had to wait a long time. So, um, in the future, hopefully, they put it in, like, a ballroom. They have a whole bunch of meeting rooms or maybe clear out the sports book for a day. I don't know the, the, how to solve it, but they need more room. Not that or problem have, here. Or have two starting days. Two starting days is good, yeah. Lots of space here in Prague, though. How, how are you finding Prague? How is the food here in Prague? Because uh, you mentioned the American food being the best in the world. <laughs> yeah, um, I may be, I think I'm spoiled. I live in Las Vegas, which in my opinion is like the food capital agree, of the world. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm pretty spoiled being in Vegas, but whenever I come here, I feel like it's always the same stuff. Like it's like sandwiches and it's all like this kind of the same food. And I like a variety. Sometimes I might want like Mexican food or sushi or American food. So I, I'm probably just going to the wrong places. I'm going to give it another chance. You need to try a Czech goulash or something. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm going to check it out. All right. I, I have a little time. I have the rest of the day off, unfortunately. Okay, so yeah, we'll I'll find a Czech restaurant. <laughs> yeah. And tomorrow you said you're going to play another event? 25k one day I think is again tomorrow so hopefully I can do it again that'd be nice all right yeah. as if he hasn't got enough thank you so much for chatting to us Ryan Reese I'm Laura Cornelius you're watching fakersnews.com